morning, guys. In today's activity, I want you to to think uh, about to think in a person uh, who, in your opinion, has made a change in the world. Uh, it could be Nelson Mandela. It could be um, uh, Martin Luther King, or maybe someone who has made a change in you, in in your life. For example, your mother, father, and all your dog. And then I want you to brainstorm about that person and how to do it. Uh, to brainstorm is to, to think all you know about that person and write it down. Uh, you can also uh, look for information in the internet. Okay guys, now that you guys have finished brainstorming, you will do an outline of that and you will organize all of your ideas so you'll have a clear idea when you will do the draft. You will write the draft following the steps you did the outline and you will try to finish it today so you can exchange it with the person next to you or anybody else if you want and you will correct the mistakes of the other person and after that you will give it back to that person so they can take it home and bring it tomorrow with everything corrected. Okay, students, now that your second draft is ready, I want you to exchange it back to your partner from yesterday so they can look for mistakes. Um, and I want you to follow this format that I wrote for all of you to use it to look for the new mistakes. And once you're done, I want you to give it back to, to the writer so they can keep that in mind for the final draft that they're going to prepare for homework so they can bring you tomorrow and give it to me for the, the final adjustment. Okay, students, were the instructions clear? Yes? Uh, teacher, I have a question about the brainstorm. Can you repeat about it? Sure. The brainstorm is about keywords to gather ideas. For example, if we are talking about Nelson Mandela, we can write about that he was in prison, also we can write that he was president of South Africa and he fought for their equal rights. And also if you need more information, you can search for it on the internet. Oh, thank you, teacher.